Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss about this mini drafter. This mini drafter we are using in engineering drawing. Why we are calling mini drafter means we are doing the drawing of small size. Okay, for doing the drawing of structures, machine drawings, or building drawings that is bigger diagrams, we are using the bigger version of this drafter. It is called drafting machine. But in according to our syllabus, we are using this mini drafter. Here, in mini drafter, one plate is there. Here, this is a plate. It is called bar plate. Okay, this bar plate is connected to two knobs. This is one knob. This is another knob. Okay, so how, how it has connected means as we are seeing, this plate is connected with the help of steel bars to this knob, and here also this plate is connected by using the steel bars. Okay, this knob is called clamping knob. Okay, this knob is called adjustable knob. Okay, let us see first this knob. This knob has one screw arrangement. If you are seeing here screw arrangement, if you are tilting in clockwise, okay. So this screw arrangement is coming below this. Okay, if you are tilting anti-clockwise direction, so this screw will move upward direction. Okay, why we are using uh, for this knob means we are clamping or fixing this knob to the table. Okay, let us see how to fix here. Here there is a gap. Okay, we can uh, adjust this gap by rotating this knob. Okay, let us check. I am keeping this gap. Okay, to the table, one of the end of the table, like this. Okay, now here we can adjust this gap by rotating this screw arrangement. Okay, now I kept this gap. Okay, here at the table side. Now I need to fix it tightly. So for fixing it, I need to rotate in clockwise direction, like this. Okay, like this. Now it has fixed it tightly. It is a clamping knob. I have fixed it to the table. So like this, this is the adjustable knob. Okay, this adjustable knob also screw arrangement will be there. If you are rotating this, it is a clockwise. Okay, we can adjust and we can rotate into anti-clockwise also. Okay, it has one angular plate is here. Okay, with this angular plate, one mark is here here. Okay, if you are observe carefully, one mark is here. Okay, now here one scale is there like this. It is connected to this knob. Okay. Now, if you are observing on the scale, it has 0 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 like this in upward direction. Here also 0, 10, 20, 30 like that. Angle, these are angles. That's why we can call it as angular plate. Okay. If you are fixing this mark at 0, let us assume. I am tilting this scale and I am keeping at 0. Okay. 0 I am keeping and I fix it tightly. By clockwise, we can fix it. Now it will not move okay now whatever zero degrees is there this scale is showing horizontal line okay zero degrees angle means we can do the horizontal line by using this scale okay if you are observing here there are two scales are combined okay if one is horizontal means the another one is vertical if you are observing this angle between two scales it is 90 degrees okay with this scale we can do the zero degrees line that is horizontal lines and with this scale, we can do the vertical lines by using the pencil. Okay. If you want to do 10 degrees lines, okay, instead of horizontal, 10 degrees means like this. Okay. Some angle lines. So here we had to adjust this screw arrangement and we had to make it loose. And we had to fix this mark at 10 degrees like this. Fix at, fix this mark at 10 degrees and make it tight tight means clockwise like this now see this scale this scale is tilting 10 degrees we can do the line 10 degrees lines instead of horizontal lines okay we can move the scale in upward direction or downward direction we can do the parallel lines 10 degrees lines let us assume we have to fix at 30 degrees we want to do 130 degrees line here okay so adjust this arrangement and uh, make it loose and here this mark should coincide with 30 degrees like this okay it should perfectly coincide with 30 make it tight if you observe the scale it is tilting like this 30 degrees by using this scale we can do the 30 degrees line this is the main arrangement of the drafter by using the drafter we can do the parallel lines parallel horizontal lines or inclined lines also okay by using the angular scale 
one side i am fixing this clamping knob and the another side i am fixing this sheet with the help of tape okay like this our clips are also available you can fix the clips here okay so i am fixing with the help of tape let us assume this is a drawing sheet different sizes will be available always after fixing the drafter at any corner of the sheet or here at the corner just i am showing here roughly at the middle i am doing but you do in the corners this side or this side one reference line here i am keeping this mark at zero okay so here we will get the horizontal line just do one line horizontal line here and here one vertical line okay now we got the two lines okay vertical line horizontal line let us take this corner is the reference corner always remember it is called reference this is a reference corner you do this uh, reference corner either in this corner or in this corner of the sheet because main drawings will come in the sheet just for showing this importance i am doing at the middle of it i am doing at the middle of the page okay let us assume you are doing the drawing in the next class okay instead of fixing the drafter here you are fixing here let us assume okay let us take here you are fixing okay at some other place Let's assume you have to continue the drawing okay we are fixing instead of here we are fixing at some other place drafter here after that we have to keep this mark at zero degrees okay here so we have to check whether it is zero or not like this fix it tightly okay after that we have to keep the, this scales at the corner okay reference corner if you are keeping here is it coincide with this line okay this scale is not coincide with this line but we have to keep this scale should coincide with this line and um, this scale should coincide with this line so for it for making it into coincide okay what we have to do we have to loosen this knob okay so it is moving like this it is moving it is not fixed one so you have to adjust this entire arrangement you should not uh, move the sheet you have to adjust these scales which should coincide so by adjusting this knob okay like this okay it is not tightened now i am tilting this knob so in this direction like this now i am making adjusting this scale should coincide with these lines okay here we are keeping zero as it is we should not change this one okay reference corner okay at that time we make it tight like that we have to take these two lines as reference corner for our drawings this is the main arrangement of the drafter by using the drafter we can do the parallel lines parallel horizontal lines or inclined lines also okay by using the angular scale if you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel for getting more videos thank you for watching